dear children i am going to start the quiz for today and you know we have just finished the chapter linear equations in one variable i hope you all have uh, revised your math concepts like what is a linear equation in one variable how do you visualize it then how do you find the solution then if some uh, what problem is given to you then how you apply the knowledge of linear equations in one variable for solving it so let us have a quiz on the chapter linear equations in one variable all the best to each one of you so i can see that 30 students have joined in in the in this quiz now 31 i am going to start it here is your first question find the value of x if 3x is equal to 2 into 3x minus 2 take your time solve it that's the first warm up question this you have already done in your class 7 Okay so here we have the answer and the answer to this question is 4 by 3 and uh, you have seen that in this question 3x is equal to 6x minus 4 after simplification you quickly get x is equal to 4 by 3 i am now moving on to the leaderboard let me see according to the time anya has finished it first then gorvi chiranj rishit and triti all the best let me move on to the next question this is again a warm up question quickly give the answer such a situation we have discussed in the class as well i hope you know okay so we can see that 25 students have done it correctly and answer to this question is zero coming on to the next wow now see the leader board has changed i'm moving on to the next question again a warm up question 5 into y minus 7 is equal to 7 y minus 35 interesting so you know this time the result is better you see that 5y 5 into y minus 7 is equal to 7y minus 35 this means 5y minus 35 is equal to 7 my minus 35 so here you see that the answer should be y is equal to 0 okay i'm moving on and let us see the leaderboard now interesting so anya is there then gorvi rishit triyansh and prane good going so let me move on to the next question this is fourth question another warm up question Thank you. 
Very nice. So I can see you quickly are able to solve calculations in decimal. So here you have 2x is equal to minus 6.5 and you transpose 1.1 to the other side. So you get minus 7.6. So 2x is equal to minus 7.6. So that gives us x is equal to minus 3.8. Interesting. Now I'm moving on to the leaderboard. Interesting. So this time it's constant. Let us go to the next question. Yes, take your time and solve for x. You see, in mathematics, it requires a lot of practice. And then once you acquire the skill of solving, then you have to work on improving the speed. Minus 6x plus 7 into minus 2x minus 2 is equal to minus 29 minus 5x. Such questions improves concentration. And when you are working in an online environment and that to playing a quiz, that concentration is helpful. Yes. Take your time. It's a simple question. students are able to do it correctly so let me discuss this question with all of you you must be having your pen and paper so it is minus 6x plus you have to multiply 7 with the binomial minus 2x minus 2 so when you simplify the left hand side you get minus 6x minus 14x minus 14 is equal to and on the right right hand side you have minus 29 minus 5x simplify it further minus 6x minus 14x that means minus 20x so the second step is minus 20x plus 14 minus 14 is equal to minus 29 minus 5x when you simplify this you get minus 15x is equal to minus 15 that means x should be equal to 1. So for this question, x is equal to 1 is the correct answer. Practice such questions because uh, these are be, these you know types of equations will be there even in word problems also. You might frame such equations. So solving linear equation is very important. So let me see. Rishit is there. Prane, Chiranj, Raghav, and Hansika. Very well done. Keep growing. I'm moving on to the next question. Again, a question based on concentration and practice. Let me see how many of you solve it quickly. 7 into y minus 4 plus y is equal to 2 into 6 plus 4y.
course, 26 students have answered. That's interesting. Okay, so here you see that 22 students have done it correctly. Yes, in this case, there will be no solution. So when you solve this question, you are getting one expression in which both the sides, it has numerical value. So you are not able to find the value of y in this case. So we say that this in this equation, there is no solution. Fine. OK, I'm moving on to the next and see the leaderboard now. Rishit, Chiran, Shansika, Anya, and Namesh, well done. Moving on to the next question. Take a deep breath and then see this question. It's a true false question, very simple. Highest exponent in a linear equation is one. So you have to say true or false, yes. 27. I don't know why four people have written it wrongly. I You have to practice this. So highest exponent meaning the power of the variable. So highest exponent in the linear equation is 1. Interesting. So this time, this is constant. Moving on to the next. Look for question number 8. You have to recognize linear equation out of the four. Very simple. So here you have got the answer. Great. I'm moving on to the next and see the leaderboard. Oh, there is a change. Rishit, Hansika, Anya, Namish, Anya Gupta. Well done. Moving on to the next question. Get set, go. Here it's a reverse question. Which of the following is not a linear equation in one variable? Amazing. I can see many of you are writing it quickly. That means you are able to recognize the linear equations in one variable. That's brilliant. Good. 28 correct answers. So you see that uh, here, 33 into x plus y, this equation has two variables, x and y. So it's a clear. I'm moving on to the next question now. So here you see there is a change in the leaderboard. And then here is the next question. The difference between two whole numbers is 66. The ratio of the two numbers is 2 is to 5. You need to find the numbers. It's an application of linear equation in one variable.
what 25 students have done it correctly yes the answer is 110 and 44 i hope you have applied the relationship which is given over here ratio of two numbers is 2 is to 5 you must have taken the common factor and uh, found the two numbers and the difference between the whole numbers is 66 so you see that uh, this answer 110 and 44 is the correct one Moving on to the next, and see there is a change in the leaderboard. Rishi Thansika, Namish, Anya Gupta, and Shriyansh Pant. Well done. Keep moving. I am now showing the next question. Question number eleven. If the sum of two consecutive numbers is seventy-one and one number is x, wonderful. So the equation will be x plus x plus one equals seventy-one. Moving on to the next. Okay, again there is a change in the leaderboard. That means those students who are taking more time, their sequence is getting in the end. So you will see that. Rishit, Hansika, Anya, Shyansh, and Namesh—they are in the order and scores you can see. I'm moving on to the next question. Three consecutive integers add up to fifty-one, and you need to find the integers. Interesting. So the answer is sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. I can see twenty-six of you are able to do this. Wonderful. Moving on to the next question. Let us see the leaderboard. Here, Rishit, Anya, Hansika, Shreyansh, and Pranay has joined in. Good. Moving on to the next question. The perimeter of rectangle is twenty centimeter. If the length of rectangle is six centimeter, then the breadth will be interesting. Frame a linear equation and solve it.
not so 24 students have done it correctly answer is 4 centimeter so you know that perimeter of the rectangle is 2 into l plus b so it is given it is given to be equal to 20 centimeter and length is 6 so you can easily find the breadth so breadth is 4 centimeter so let me see the leaderboard so here we can see the names. In, interesting. So Niharika has joined in. Rishit, Anya, Hansika, Shreyan, Shen, Niharika. Great going. Let, let me take you to the next question. Very interesting. In a two-digit number, units digit is X and tens digit is Y. Twenty-three people have done correctly. Yes, it is ten y plus x. Moving on to the next. Okay, so again there is a change in the leaderboard. Vishitanya, Niharika, Shreyansh, and Hansika are there now. Very simple. Okay, so here I don't know uh, many of you are not have not answered this question. The solution of the equation ax plus b equal to 0. So ax plus b equal to 0 means ax is equal to minus b. So what is x? x is equal to minus b upon a. It's a general situation uh, uh, solution. That's wonderful. Okay, moving on to the next. So there is a change in the leaderboard. Rishi, Tanya, Niharika, Prane, and Shreyansh. Move on to the next question. Very simple. Shifting of a number from one side of an equation to another side is called. Interesting. 28 correct answers. It's called transposition. Wonderful. So Rishit, Anya, Niharika, Prane, and Shriyansha are there. Moving on to the next question. This is good one. Digit in tens place of a two-digit number is three more than the digit in the units place. Number, if the digit in units place is B, will be? Okay, so you are able to solve it. That's interesting. Here you can see that uh, 17 people have done it correctly. 
okay here in this question you see that it is given that digit in tens place of a two digit number is three more than the digit in the units place so if it is given that uh, digit in the units place is b so what will be the digits in the tens place it will be b plus 3 because it is 3 more than the digits at the units place so how do you write a number you whatever digit is there in the tens place you multiply it by 10 so the number will be 10 into b plus 3 plus the digit at the units place so 10 into b plus 3 plus b so that gives us 10b plus 30 Plus B. So when you simplify this, you get 11B plus 30. So the correct answer is 11B plus 30. So think and then choose the answer. Moving on to the next. There is a change now. The next question is very interesting. A picture is given over here and in this uh, rectangle the length and breadth are shown you have to find the value of x and it is given the perimeter of the rectangle is 186 cm so here we can see that the answer to this question is 3 we have to find the value of x here you were given the length and breadth 5x plus 6 and 2x plus 66 so perimeter is 2 into l plus b so you get the linear equation as 2 into 5x plus 6 plus 2x plus 66 and perimeter is 166 so equation is 2 into 5x plus 6 plus 2x plus 66 is equal to 186 and you were supposed to simplify this so answer is 3 moving on to the next there is a change in the leaderboard interesting you can see now anya niharika rishit pranay and shreyansh so let me see the next question very simple okay so only one variable with power 1 is the right answer so let me move on great chiranch has joined in question number 20 Very simple. It has only one solution. Nice. Moving on to the next. No change. 
21. Interesting. Arpita's present age is thrice of Shilpa. If Shilpa's age three years ago was X, then Arpita's present age is that in this question the answer is 3 into x plus 3 i hope you must have uh, framed the linear equation according to the relationship which is given over here now moving on to the next okay interesting there is no change in the leaderboard so the next question is The sum of three consecutive multiples of seven is 357. Find the smallest multiple. Ignore 15, which is written in the beginning. Answer is 112. So sum of three consecutive multiples of seven. So you must have taken the three consecutive multiples and they are sum to be 357 for framing a linear equation. Okay, so I'm moving on to see the leaderboard. Great, so there is a change. And uh, now moving on to the next question. This is the last question for today. Deciding question. So let me see the speed. Great. So answer is true. So are you all ready to see the podium? Yes. Let me take you to the podium. Congratulations, Rishik, Niharika, 
And winner for today's quiz is Anya Gupta. Congratulations to all of you. And the runners up, Pranay and Chiranj. Great going. All the best to everyone. And keep on participating and preparing mathematics in a different way. So here you can see that all of you played so well and must have uh, learned new facts also. This was a challenging quiz, no doubt.